the bitch brains. <laughs> 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 Y'all, it's 6.15. Um, I'm running a little late. But I already called and let them know. If you're going to be running late to your shift, please call these people and make sure they know. If you don't call your agency, call the facility. Sometimes the agency don't actually call and let the facility know. So sometimes you have to call both and just let them know. Like, yo, I'm going to be 15 minutes late. That's cool. That's cool. But I'm going to walk in. Um, I'm tired, y'all. But yeah, I'm gonna walk into the 16 hour shift. I'm working 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Or today I'm working 6 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. So I'm gonna show y'all this new facility I'm working at. Um, agency, of course. I actually don't work at this facility. I just pick up shifts whenever needed. But this is my first time actually coming to this facility. Um, and I actually hope I'm on the right side because I see cars coming out the other way. Sometimes I got employee parking. I gotta figure out where I'm supposed to go. But yeah, y'all. I never drive in my scrub jackets. I'm always putting them on and off when I walk into the facility. So, I did not bring a charger today. And for some reason, I forgot my charger, which I'm not too happy about. But, yeah. Let's get this started. Funny part about this, y'all, is that I'm always playing to find an open door at facilities like. So before I show this, I also wanted to tell you guys that some facilities also, um, I don't want to say run out, but sometimes just don't have clean linen all the time. So in this facility particularly, I had to use two flat sheets to make the bed instead of a fitted sheet and a flat sheet, which happens pretty often. You do see I'm pointing at the little like cuffing railing. I do tuck it under there to create like the fitted feeling and then I finished the bed up. So yeah. So also before you leave out of the room, you want to always make sure you lower the bed back down. Um, you put the call light on the bed. As you see, I'm pointing to the bricks. I'm locking the, break, the bed back from when I pulled it over to me. Um, making the call light visible and then putting anything back that I moved in the room. So the table.
my break, y'all. Um, since I am in Rockford, I want to go get some mozzarella sticks because they make the best mozzarella sticks. Me and my boyfriend found the finest place, but um, I'm halfway through my 16, so right now it is 1:30, so eight hours basically another hour and that shift is finished because they make them stay till 30 for to give like shift report so far at this new facility um no problems compared to some of the assignments i usually get this assignment is very easy i think i only have i want to say dang 12 people i, I and i don't even want to say i have 12 residents because i don't even think i have the full 12 like but yeah, I have 12 residents. Um, most of them are independent. And I do have, I have two total cares and the rest of them are independent. So pretty much it's an easy assignment. Um, no problems. One feeder, as y'all seen. Um, yeah, this facility is like a medium side. I am only on one side, which has three halls to it and then I'm, I'm seeing another side that probably has three halls to it as well with a different nursing station so it's a medium-sized facility I'm feeling good um I'm feeling good about this shift I'm feeling pretty good right now I'm gonna go eat some food and then check back in peace uh, I'm not gonna say I forgot about y'all or nothing because I didn't <laughs> but um uh, my first shift is over Everything went blah, 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 blah. everything went pretty well um, as far as my second shift. You know, I usually have the same assignment that I had first shift. Just like you should if you work in a double, whatever shift you work first, that assignment you had first, you should have your second. Or it should be like a little bit arranged, but you still have primarily the same people. Or they'll ask you. But I have the same assignment that I had like when I was first, first talking about it. Which, cool, easy, no complaints. Um... I did get my lunch. Well, I tried to be fancy and go to Uno's Pizzeria. Yeah, they messed my food up. It's an ale. So, when there's a lot of downtime and you just bored, instead of going missing and going to go hide like everybody else do, make yourself productive because you'll feel better. I promise you'll feel better than going to go hide. But, if you want to go hide, it's up to you. Be your big one. I ain't gonna tell nobody. Um, but, I'm gonna make some ice water. I usually do this real slow. I've already changed everybody, and it's like in between lunch and dinner that I'll have to just find something to do. Um, everybody bed change, everybody clothes. They have a shower team and they have um, a laundry team, so I don't have to take care of any of that. Just my residence. So right now I have nothing to do. Ice cups. Sorry y'all, I forgot to show y'all the most important part when y'all passing out water. Today is 12-1. Always label any kind of drink, any water, any fluids, liquids with the date so that the next eight know when to either throw it out or to replenish it because it's was from today. So be mindful of that and help out your other aids because I'm gonna come in throwing everything away if it don't got no date on it. Thank you. So it is after dinner and it is time for me to lay everybody down. Um, I'm starting with like my total care people first. Anybody in the whole year, you know, sit stand and getting them ready for bed, putting on their gowns, changing and washing their face. Please make sure I wash people's face, not just in the morning, but also at night as well, because you curate germs throughout the day, just like we curate germs throughout the day, oils, dirt and debris. So make sure you clean their face morning and night. Obviously, I feel like I always end my shifts with getting pulled over, but 